Wildfire that started this weekend is still active tonight in the Rocky Top community. That fire spanning 190 acres. Fire crews say it's about 75% contained right now. WAT 6 on your side's Molly O'Brien was at the scene and gets us up to date on some of the difficulties crews have been facing. Crews first responded to the Scott Brogan Lane wildfire at around 6 o'clock on Saturday night. Tonight, crews are still working to contain the blaze. The lack of rain adding to the difficulties crews are facing. The drought condi conditions are contributing uh, greatly to this. Uh, like I say, the, we're getting good humidity recoveries at night. Uh, all the fuels are dry right now, uh, but the moisture content does come up in the fuel overnight. As the fire has spread, the terrain has crews resorting to other tactics. Where the terrain is too steep to get our bulldozers on, we will have to do what's called a hand line. And that's what we do is we remove the leaves from an area to create a fire break. That way the advancing flame front gets to a certain point and stops. Those still active, no injuries have been reported. All the structures are protected. They have good containment lines between the advancing flame front and the fire. And if you're in the area, Butler encourages folks to stay alert. If you're out in the woods on uh, four wheelers uh, or hunting, just be aware, keep your head on a swivel and look for any smokes or flames out there and let someone know. As for a cause of the fire, crews are still investigating that. In Rocky Top, Molly O'Brien, WATE, six on your side. Now, Butler, who you heard from, uh, tells us that there was a high tension power line in the area. TVA, though, has shut that off. And we will continue to update you on the Scott Brogan wildfire as we learn more information.